ladies and gentlemen, this is Stride in here doing my first toy review, and I am reviewing the uh, GI Joe Pursuit of Cobra Wave Three Alley Viper. Um, Alley Viper holds a little special spot in my geek heart because uh, I had the original one. A friend of mine blew him up with firecrackers when we were kids. And I always was like, man, I wish I could get him again. And I never, ever saw him in a store. You know, I wasn't big on getting stuff in the inter on the Internet. And I know I missed a couple re-releases. And then here's this one. And uh, as a Valentine's Day gift, my girlfriend got it for me. And uh, I'm going to review him for you. So uh, stay tuned. All right. So I'm pretty amped about this figure. I've been amped for a long time. Um, I'm going to start with all his accessories. He comes with a bunch of stuff. You see he's got the original mask, the gas mask, the trooper helmet, a backpack that actually can store his uh, grapple gun. He comes with a, an HK5, I think that is, and his shield. Um, there's a little detail about what you see on his costume. There are two parts that are removable, those tiny little knives they actually freaking come out of the uh, sheaths. There's one on his right hand and one on his chest, and I'm about to show you the picture in a second, but I was like, damn, I mean, the detailing on him is, um, is, is ridiculous. Now, there's a small fact about him. It is kind of a relaunch, repaint of the uh, City Strike Alley Viper from the movie line, but there he is with the knives, and he's wearing the trooper helmet. It's crazy. I'm like, damn, so he's going to put in some serious work. And I guess that's one of the good things about these figures. Uh, the articulation is, you know, standard. It's very regular, like what you expect from all the modern G.I. Joes. But the cool thing about these is that they somehow managed to mix the old with the semi-sci-fi. Now, um, there are aspects of, of the characters re, uh, uh, redesigned, reimagining that I don't like. Apparently, since Resolute, Alley Vipers are just a type of soldier, and I think that's lame. They should, he should be like one specific Viper that is like the shit, because I mean, that's kind of what he was. I mean, that's why he wore brightly colored camo. So you'd see him on the battlefield and you'd be like, damn, it's him. Fuck, I got to deal with this guy. At least that's what we used to do. Anyway, there's the original helmet open. Um, standard you know fl um flare it uh it has a hinge on the two sides and you can you know flip it open and closed i always pretended that there was like a uh heads up display inside of that like a vr display kind of like what iron man would have so um it always made sense to me that his face was completely covered i mean how could you shoot him in the face if it's completely covered makes sense I mean, to me at least, I've read reviews where people didn't get it, but, you know, whatever. I have an imagination, sorry. There he is without anything except for the goggles, and I think that that face is pretty cool. I think it's a repaint of a past Firefly head, but I've only recently gotten back into G.I. Joe, so I don't know for sure. Um, I just dig it. It's simple. He looks pissed. Like, I am about to fuck you up. Something fierce. Don't even say anything. Um, and I dig it. Also, the, the here's the gas mask. And it's kind of cool because he seems like he would be the leader of uh, the uh, shock troopers. And the shock troopers and him would be the characters that, uh, or the vipers that uh, Beachhead deals with the most. And I think that's awesome. Beachhead's my favorite Joe. So it's kind of slick that these two would actually go, you know, toe to toe and, you know, they, they're, they're properly equipped to deal with one another. I don't know. I'm a dork, but whatever. This works. It To me, it's awesome. Here he is with the faceplate closed. So you can see no bullets are getting through that. And it's got the Cobra emblem on it. It's a little bit different. Um, my camera didn't pick up the different the like T piece in the center of it, but I mean, there's a pretty slick stripe going right down the center of the Cobra symbol that's on the visor piece, and on the back visor is just a simple Cobra insignia. Um, I don't know, I always thought it was badass. I mean, it just seemed like, you know, this guy has the right tools to be running around doing backflips and shit on the battlefield. Um, here he is with the trooper helmet on, and uh, I you, this is what lets you see that they took parts from a resolute figure 
characters from Resolute and then repurposed them for this. And this is something Hasbro's always done, and I hated it. Like, before this, I collected 12-inch uh, figures. I had a decent amount of Hasbro ones, and, like, some of the Action Man stuff and some of the G.I. Joe stuff, the Valor versus... I think it was Valor versus Venom back then. Some of those had the same uh, pieces, and I always hated that. Anyway, this is the grappling gun. I think this is badass, too, because it's a big, high-powered grappling gun. So there's no way he's not going to be able to, you know, latch on to whatever he's doing and uh, to whatever he wants to latch on to. And plus, if he's in the city, it kind of makes sense, you know. It would probably have, like, a, a locking mechanism where you shoot off one end and then hook up the gun on the other end or the line on the other end and zip line from building to building. But it's awesome looking. It just... I don't know, it fits. Um, he holds it pretty snugly, and uh, it fits in the backpack, which is awesome, too. Um, I wish all the parts fit on the backpack, but, you know, you can always put... I always put rubber bands or, uh, like, the, the, the... It's like, they're like ponytail holders. Uh, I'll get a couple of them from... I used to get them from my sister. Now you just go to the dollar store, you get a, a package of those little rubber bands, put them on the backpack, and then there you go. You can just hook everything up. Here is the infamous shield. The shield is an awesome design, and it hasn't changed since the 80s, which is crazy, or early 90s, whatever. It was. I think it was the early 90s. Uh, it's exactly the same. There's uh, one slight difference on the exterior, which is this stripe that you see painted, or the stripes you see painted across. And then uh, the color, obviously, is different. But on the interior, they added a little space for his little, uh, like, uh, nightstick tomfa thing. Uh, it's pretty cool because, I mean, when all else fails, you can bludgeon someone to death with a uh, tomfa. And I always pictured him being more like almost like a Batman type, like an evil Batman. That's the way I pictured him. He's physically adept in fucking you up with all kinds of weapons. And if he can't use all the automatic weapons and the semi-automatic weapons, then he goes back to the old school stuff, you know? Um, I so wish that I had this kind of gear in Vegas. Rainbow Six Vegas 2. It'd be awesome. A grappling gun in Vegas? Shit. Anyway... You see that overall the design is like a souped up SWAT trooper. The shield covers enough of his body that, you know, he could hide behind it, see through the little holes, see through the sides, and, you know, fuck you up with some, some, some hot ones. Put some hot ones in the Joe's bodies, you know what I'm talking about? Some bullets. Um, or lasers. They burn, you know, they're hot too. Um, so yeah. Here he is with the shield next to him, and you see the size comparison of the shield to his body. Um, it makes sense. It, I, it's not like back in the day, some artist would draw Captain America with this tiny little shield, and he'd be this humongous man. And I'm like, who told you that made any damn sense? So, you know, they did their thing here. It actually looks the part, you know, and I love it. Um, he just looks prepared to bum rush through like so, a whole bunch of, you know, enemy fire and lead the way for some of the other troopers, you know. Uh, I always pictured him being the singular leader of a, of a particular type of, uh, of, of, a, of a platoon or, or army. And uh, now that they have the shock troopers, I think I'm going to try to pick up at least two or three of those and have him and the shock troopers be the commander's personal guard or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, he is pretty damn badass. Pretty, pretty damn badass. He looks like he is prepared to take on whatever your Joes have to throw at him. And I think when he came out, he was about seven bucks. So now online, he's about twice that. And in some places, if they're, you know, they have the audacity, he's three times that. But this is a pretty damn good figure. You know, all the trappings are here, and it's something that, you know, it's rare with figures. This figure small. like this is pretty slick because it, there's multiple reasons. The first reason is um, it's a figure from our childhood. And uh, a lot of us uh, not-so-hardcore collectors, you know, you, there are all kinds of collectors, the more casual ones. Um, we may have missed him when they re-released him years ago in that... Uh, what was it? There was like a Cobra 7-pack 
that they released years ago where he had the orange and blue like back in the day. And it was pretty much this same figure, just in orange and blue with the camo and all that. But we missed it, you know, back then. Um, we missed, we may have missed the City Strike one. I actually didn't know about the City Strike version of this until earlier today when I went looking up uh, information, extra information on this figure. Um, I wanted to know what wave, what the wave number was because for whatever reason I always miss individual waves and I find pieces of you know each wave at my uh, local Walmart and my local uh, Target but you know like I said this is a, a it's cool for people who you know you missed it the first time around you get a second chance you get to pick him up you know enjoy what's what's going on with him and like I said earlier he's not that expensive if you get him online he's probably twice what you would pay in the store but I think it's worth it. I mean, he doesn't come with as much uh, artillery as uh, uh, Beachhead or even at the, the, the last uh, Snake Eyes, but he comes with enough, and there's enough personality and enough character and enough uh, uh, detail in the figure and nostalgia value that you, you probably should pick this one up if you get a chance. Uh, the articulation is pretty good. It's the standard. Nothing special. Um, the paint, there's like a couple areas I didn't really like so much, but overall, this is a top-notch figure. Pick it up if you get the chance. You got a girlfriend, get her to get it for you. If you, you know, see it online, pick it up. I'm out. Peace.